What's happening to the data science job market? Over the last 12 months, from October 2021 to October 2022, we've seen a decrease in 26% in the number of data science jobs. But if you look at the number of data analysts and data engineering jobs, they've actually gone up. So why is this happening? Hey guys, today we're gonna dive into the overarching data science job market and look at different kinds of trends going on. Over the last 18 months, we've been looking at job data over a bunch of different kinds of data science roles. Here's what we found. So overall, things aren't looking that great. Over the past six to nine months, we've seen over 100,000 layoffs, according to layoffs.fyi, with thousands of companies letting go of employees, especially the big tech companies. So you're looking at Meta, Google, Amazon, all of these companies have some way or another laid off people, and no big tech company really is absolved from this. And we know from tech that most of this affects the kind of core positions of product managers, marketing, recruiters, engineering, but also data science. And since data science has been going up in terms of overall adoption over the past 10 years. Just back in 2008, it was named the sexiest position of the decade. Now we wanna figure out, is the data science role still relevant in this day and age? So just starting out, when we looked at the data, we saw that overarchingly, the data science job market is down around 10 to 15% year over year. So that means from around October of 2021 to October of 2022, we've been seeing the overarching data science market go down by jobs. And that's not surprising because we're in a recession right now. And overarchingly, I think across a lot of positions, you'll see a lot less people hiring. But if you split it up based on the actual position types, what you see is that data scientists as a role is falling a lot faster than other kinds of data roles out there. In my opinion, there's actually three different reasons why this is happening. One is just because of the overall recession, we're seeing a lot less demand for more expensive talent out there and also a shifting in terms of the position names. So while a company might hire a data scientist a year ago, now they're actually hiring more data analysts because data analysts are generally cheaper. We saw this on our own when we had a recruiting client of ours actually downgrade their position from a data science role to a data analyst role. Additionally, we've also heard from the grapevine that companies like Airbnb used to call the people that actually pulled data and analyzed reports with SQL data scientists, but now they're actually rebranding them data analysts. And the reason for that is because data analysts as a whole are on average around 30% cheaper in terms of salary and take home than data scientists. We're seeing companies downgrade their roles towards more economical ones. There's a shift in companies looking for cheaper labor by changing position titles to just cheaper roles. However, when we look at the AI and ML job market, we're actually seeing a pretty good platform plateau in terms of these positions. So you're talking about AI research scientists or ML engineers. Generally, we haven't seen too much change if you look at this graph here. And the reason for that is actually AI is on this kind of upward trend. And we believe it's actually balancing against this downward shift of the economy. But if you've heard about anything about like stable diffusion, generative AI, GPT-3 over the past few years, you'll know that this is probably the next transformation of the decade. Whether it actually includes data scientists is yet to come, but it definitely needs a lot of ML engineers engineers, software engineers, and AI researchers. The next thing we looked at was actually the data science interview data. So a lot of companies will actually tend to put their job postings out there and actually just not take in applications. And so one way to actually look to see if there's actually less roles being filled and if there's an actual recession in the data science market is to look at the number of interviews actually happening. So we looked at Glassdoor data and our own member data when people submit interview experiences on interview query. And this is what we found. Over the past year, we've definitely seen a larger drop in the number of interviews. We've seen around 40 to 50% drop in the number of interviews in the data science market, which is more indicative of there being actually a bigger recession here because job postings can be a little misleading. A lot of people post multiple jobs for remote roles, as well as keeping job listings open that they're not even actually reviewing the resumes for. We think this interview data is more indicative of a larger trend that we're seeing less hiring going on. That being said, it is a smaller sample size than the actual job listing data. And if you can see here, the biggest actual position that's hit hardest is the data science role. So I used to see around 150 to 160 interviews happening around March and August of 2021. Now we're seeing around actually just 50 to like 90 interviews per month. Next thing that's causing this dip in data science jobs is also probably the big tech hiring slowdown. All the big tech companies definitely hire data scientists the most because data scientists were kind of like this 
you know, pristine luxury role, right? And when the recession kind of started back in April 2022, you saw Facebook stop hiring and some other companies slowly following suit. We actually see that huge kind of split where these bigger tech companies constituted a bigger amount of data science hiring than they did than, than the broader market. So for example, let's say that there was like a hundred data scientist roles out there every given month. Big tech companies probably were comprised around 50% of that. Whereas if you're thinking about data analytics or data engineering roles, they might have only comprise like 20% of that because in general like the bigger tech companies did have huge portions of their departments actually dedicated towards hiring data scientists. Overarchingly there's actually a few good things that we can take away from this. One is that data analytics and data engineering looks like they're actually being split off from the data science role into their kind of own distinct positions. A lot of the times companies would go out and hire for data scientists but generally they'd actually be for a true data analyst role or a true data engineering role which is why you know if you were the first data scientist at a startup that didn't have any data engineers, you were probably just doing a data engineering role. That being said, we're also seeing companies shift towards understanding the data engineering role a lot better, right? It used to be that software engineers that were working on data infrastructure were just called software engineers. Now we're seeing that definition trend more towards data engineers as the role gets more defined. So all in all, data analytics, data engineering is actually still going pretty strong. Yes, data analytics roles pay a little bit less than data scientists, but if you're actually a new grad or someone just jumping into the space, this is actually good for you because as the average salary goes down and senior level roles are unwilling to kind of meet those lower salary requirements, you can kind of come in here and get a new job. Maybe not easier before this recession happened, but definitely not as hard as it was potentially before. All in all, this is a little bit hard to analyze it's all macroeconomic data at the same time you know indeed where we actually got this data from might not be like the correct source just understand that we are in a general recession so it will be tough to see how this kind of plays out over the next year or so my best bet though is that generally AI and data science isn't going anywhere if you think about it AI is just kind of on its frontier of developing and with the rise of generative AI in the near future data scientists and data analytics is still gonna play a part in helping out with that rise. That being said, if you're also looking for a job right now, the best thing that I can point you to is the fact that there's still a lot of data analytics and data engineering roles hiring. And so if you ever thought about making that switch, if you weren't just solely focusing on data science, I'd recommend to you to do that as well. So let me know what you guys think. Please add your own comments in the video below. I'd love to hear what you guys have in terms of discussion around this. Do you agree with what I'm seeing in the market here? Or do you feel like it's pretty accurate? Or do you feel like there's too much recession fear-mongering in here. Uh, let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys all later.